What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So we are talking about stocks today. Guys, there has been a short recovery in the last week. Thank goodness. Man, we just thought the stock market was going to keep dropping, dropping, dropping for 10th week. But, you know, thankfully it recovered. S&P, Dow Jones is actually quite up uh, in the last week. Uh, it hasn't really fully recovered. As you can see in the chart, uh, we've uh, we had this sort of low on May 19th, where it's really, really low. And then in the last couple of days started going up again. And so today in this video, we're going to talk about some stocks that I'm buying. Guys, right now is a pretty historical time uh, where, in my opinion, it's a great time to buy stocks. Um, you know, I, I do think there's going to be a short run up in June. Uh, that's my opinion. That's not a guarantee. There's nothing that ever is guaranteed in the stock market, especially right now, where there's trillions of dollars printed in, in the economy. And the federal government is pushed back into the wall. Uh, they have the curb inflation, which, by the way, right now is over 8%. Uh, if you're going to, guys, McDonald's is like $1.69 for a hamburger. Like, it used to be 99 cents, right? I, I went there, I got, I just felt like I got gypped buying a hamburger for $1.69. And that's the very least of the price increases that we see all over the United States today. So... Uh, if you're hurting and if you're feeling some pain of inflation, I am totally with you and uh, just hang in there, guys. So today we're going to talk about what, what, uh, what I'm doing, what I'm buying, what I'm selling. Uh, we're going to talk about options, everything that you guys want to hear about. Uh, make sure you hit that like button and, and subscribe if you want to uh, keep up with me in the stock market and how I'm investing. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below as well. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. So as you can see in the charts in the last uh, couple, uh, ever since April, really, April what, April 19th, 20th, the stock market just tanked, right? It just went down, down. There were a couple uh, pop-ups where we thought the market was going to go back up, and then it went down. And we thought it was going to go back up on 28th, and then it went back down. And on May 5th, there was this huge drop where it kept going, 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 going down all the way to May on May 11th, and where we sort of saw a little bit of recovery, and then we saw another drop. So this has been a brutal sell-off, guys. I heard trillions of dollars have been wiped out of the market, and uh, understandably, guys, like you know, if if you look at historically the five-year chart, look at this, right? It's it's just it's just been going up and up and up, uh, and then we finally saw a drop around this year. But still, if you're an investor, and especially if you start investing this year, guys, uh, you you may have been very, very disappointed. And what I would say, though, is just look at the historical charts, right? Eventually, the market does go back up. It's just really hard to predict when the market is going to go back up. Okay, so as you see, 2020, there was a big drop uh, when coronavirus first came out. But then there was a huge upside, and it went up all the way till 2022. And that's the Dow Jones. If you'd like to take a, take a look at the NASDAQ, very, very similar chart. It's just kept going down, 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 down. There's a brutal sell off in May uh, where a lot of the companies like Apple, Facebook, Google just went down a lot. And then thankfully, the last couple of days, it popped up just a little bit. We're at 12,131. Okay, but again, take a look at the historical charts, guys. Um, right now, the, the price of NASDAQ. Uh, the Nasdaq composite is close to the price of when uh, it was back in December or November 2020. Okay, so November 2020, so that's, that's one and a half years ago, uh, probably a little more. And uh, so, yeah, is it a good time to buy? Guys, I, I don't, I can't say for sure, but I really think right now is a pretty solid opportunity to buy into some stocks. Uh, I do think there is going to be a, a lot of volatility this year. So if you can't withstand volatility, guys, like don't ever invest. I think my number one rule of thumb is don't ever invest money that you have to use. Okay, so you make sure you have some reserves from cash uh, to pay the bills. I would say three to six months, if not even more. Um, if you have more cash in debt, the, the nice thing about more having more cash is you have more buying power, right? So if the stock market keeps dropping, then you can simply keep buying, right? Eventually, I think, uh, or I, I do believe the market is going to go back up. Uh, historically, that's just what we know. And so 
look at that drop, guys. That drop is almost identical to 2020's drop, right? If you look at the the chart, it's very very similar, and uh, so a very very brutal st uh, sell off. Um, you know, come around November, you know, around elections, I do think there's going to be a lot more volatility where we might see another drop but over summer, guys. I do think there's going to be a run up. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, and so, what am I buying? So let's take a look at some of the stocks that I'm buying. Uh, first stock is CLF. Okay, so CLF. Let me move this a little bit. CLF. Okay, Cleveland Cliffs. Okay, Cleveland Cliffs is uh, a mining company. Uh, as you can see, in the last year, it's gone. Uh, let me see here. Okay, so it was a big drop ever since uh, April. April peaked at around thirty-one dollars and went down all the way to twenty-one dollars, guys. Okay, so I started buying actually when I was at twenty-one, and I'm buying. I'm selling put options. Selling put options just means that. If the stock falls further, I may have to buy 100 shares at that price, um, but I'm totally fine with that because you know then I would just get the stock at a cheaper price. Plus, I get paid a premium to sell that insurance, and I talk a lot about that in my channel. Uh, you know, that's one of the option strategies that Warren Buffett uses a lot for himself, and one of the strategies that I also would use a lot uh, for myself as well. Okay, so that's CLF. Uh, I, I really, guys, I th really think commodities is, is a great strategy to go right now. Commodities is going to be pretty hot. Uh, tech stocks are still kind of expensive, uh, unless you're buying Google, Facebook, you know, those companies. Uh, you know, Google, Facebook, let's take a look. So as you can see, Google stock is at $2,255.98. Uh, and if you look at, take a look at the chart, it went down a lot ever since high of April. Uh, in April 2008 72 and so I do think right now is a good time for you to buy Google stock especially with a 21 split guys um, They're gonna the stock is planning on splitting in July. So we might see some uptrends um, especially, you know, because more retailers will have access to purchase stocks and uh, you know, Run options on that. So Google <coughs> if you take a look at Facebook stock Facebook is also uh, down quite a bit in the last uh, month really so it had a huge drop in February but then it just kept going down 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 in April and just kept going down hovered around the 195 but I do think uh, right now Facebook is a buy um, but let's take a look let's go back into commodities All right so uh, one company I'm taking a look at is rig okay so rig stock uh, rig is transocean uh, this is a company that a lot of uh, you know people probably won't be talking about because um, you know this is a lot of uh, institutional traders uh, probably aren't going to be talking about transocean it's a American company uh, offshore drilling tr contractor uh, based in Switzerland um, let's take at the five-year chart. It's been hovering around the same price for quite a few years But I do think guys because gas is so expensive gas guys has has just it's like four dollars and forty cents in Texas I can't imagine how much it is in California So a lot of gas companies are gonna if you take a look at Chevron uh, Exxon Mobil all these companies that you know are big in gas they, they had a huge run-up Right, just take a look at uh, Oxy. Right, Oxy stock is one one of Warren Buffett's uh, biggest new holdings, and just went up and up and up. It's just shooting up because everyone is buying gas at a really expensive price. So these companies are making a ton of money just selling, you know, gas. Right. So so commodities like Cleveland Cliffs mining, uh, oil. Um, if you take a look at natural gas. Uh, look at the one stock I really like is SWN, Southwestern Energy. It has qu it had quite a big run up in the last month, and so uh, you know some of my options are doing pretty well. Um, but I do think there's still going to be a really big upside for natural gas. Uh, steel, right? Steel is another one. Cleveland Cliffs uh, has steel mining, but uh, take a look at Vale. Okay, so stock here, stock ticker L V A L E. Vale Stock. It's uh, a company that's uh, it's it's headquartered in Brazil, but um, you know it's still a huge, huge mining company, especially in uh, metals and mining and steel. And if you look at the year-to-date chart, it's up 30% already. I do think there's still more upside for Vale. Um, what other companies am I looking at? Okay, so the other companies I'm looking at is RFP Resolute Forest Products, uh, another company 
that does paper, uh, another commodity that I think is going to be really hot, P ratio of 2.74, a uh, very, very hot stock. Right now it's trading at 14.75, had a huge run up in 2020, but now it's been trading sideways. But I do think because of the shortage and everything, I do think the stock is going to be a really, really hot one to invest in in the next couple months or even year. Uh, other stock I'm looking at is Pikes' Tankers, uh, PX. PXS, so trading at two dollars sixty-eight cents, guys. It's, it has this really, really tiny market cap, but this is one of the companies that Renaissance Technology Renaissance. If you don't have not heard of Renaissance, is a, a hedge fund that that has a mathematical quant approach to, to finding stocks that have good fundamentals and have great potential. And PXS is a one as a company that that Renaissance is invested in. A market cap of only twenty-eight point four five million dollars, but. Guys, I do think there could be a run-up on the stock. Um, other stock is GNK, Genko Shipping and Trading Company. Guys, uh, shipping is going to be a huge, huge company. GNK, ZIM, Zim. Uh, these companies are going to really, really benefit from the the shortage of shipping, and they have just this monopoly in uh, in ships, and they're doing very, very well. They're uh, they had had a huge run-up, as you can see. They pay huge dividends, guys. GNK pays 12.55 percent. So I would not sell options, uh, even though I did. I would actually, but you know what I what I would recommend is buying shares so you can collect the dividends on these stocks. Okay, last stock for today is AA, so Alcoa Corp, uh, one of the largest aluminum companies. Uh, take a look yourself, P ratio 7.23. Uh, as you can see, there was a huge run up all the way till April, and then it went down, 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 and that's when I'm buying again. Okay, so commodities, aluminum, paper, oil, gas, natural gas, shipping. Guys, these are great companies to invest in right now, especially because uh, the entire market is down. Like, like ev almost every single company got hit really, really hard in the last uh, month or two. And so right now, I do think it's a great time to invest, uh, at least for the next couple months, uh, for the short term. Uh, for long term, I think it's, it's great because you're also getting stocks at a discount. But just know that I am expecting a lot of volatility. I think we're all expecting a lot of volatility because... Uh, we don't know. We don't know what the federal government is going to do. We don't know if the you know what they're doing with raising interest rates is really going to curb inflation. If it does, great. Uh, if it does not work, they're going to have to do more, and then you're going to see a lot more volatility in the market. Okay, so this guys, guys, this year has, has been a crazy year already. But hang in there, guys. I know it's really, really tough. Uh, it's tough for me as well, right? Seeing my account go red and go down, but every day I hang, hang on to <clears throat> the hope and just knowing that eventually these markets will recover and it has already recovered quite a bit in the last week. And so we'll see what happens uh, this week. Okay, so again, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Comment below if you have any questions. Let me know what companies that you're invested in yourself. Okay, I would love to hear and bounce off ideas with you. And uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you around in the next video.